More small engines. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. So we finally got some parts in for the old weed whacker here. I got a few problems with weed whackage. She's got a bad bulb hole. So I put some plastic on there to help seal that up. And she's got a cracked gas tank seal down in here. So it's causing the gas to go all over the place. Friggin' air filter hasn't been changed in months. So we're gonna take a gander at this thing and see if we can't snafu a little life back into her and see if we can't make her purr like a kitten again. But by the looks at the first thing we need to do is uh, hit it with a little bit of cleaner, we do. So as you can see here, we got her all cleaned off real nice. And I have the Echo with the attachment on it. So what we gotta do here too is I haven't greased this in about five or six, 10 years or so. So we better grease that shaft because she's probably gonna snap soon if I don't. So if you look right down here, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this outside filter and we're gonna remove this. And I got another one for that. This filter has not been changed in a long, long, long time. So we better actually blow that out too because that don't look too good. We'll pull this filter off. She's pretty, pretty much garbage. Now always check, make sure you get the right filters and I did so. So that can go in the garbage. So next thing you wanna do is you wanna pull off these two screws and we're gonna put in one of these new little uh, prime ball thingamabobbers that go right there. Just remember too, you don't have to always go to an echo dealer to uh, get this stuff, but if you wanna help out, oh, I think that prime ball is working, Captain. Where's that water? What's oh, really going on, Jim? I think we're priming. So hopefully this uh, stops sucking soon here because she's sucking pretty hard. Let's just take them off for now. Okay, it smells like water and fuel. So we'll take these off and we'll remove this piece right here. Now this ball comes off as one, as you can see, which I really didn't want it to, but it did. It is what it is. Can you see down here? Probably not. So we'll take these screws all the way out and we'll pull this prime ball off. That's on there pretty good. All right, there we go. So now I can remove my temporary ball bag and I can remove this uh, ball. So there it is. That's all there is to that. See, it's all cracked and broke open. So we'll slot this new one on top like that. Holy, that fits on there friggin' nice, it does. And we'll slap uh, this ring thing back on. Now, I can't remember which way that ring thing went, so I'm thinking it might've went this way, actually. Yeah, that looks right. And we'll slap this back on. This thing back on, I think it went that way. Well, hold on, something's going on here. We don't wanna crank on her, she's not going. I think we got this upside down, Jim. Yeah, we do. So yeah, screw goes down, just so y'all know. No, it doesn't, it can't go down. Aw, oh, dick. What happened? Oh, there it is. I didn't, oh, Frank. Things aren't happening the way they're supposed to here. My hands are getting in the way. You ever have that problem? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button too. If you like this uh, kind of stuff. I love doing this kind of stuff with you guys and girls. Hey, at least with this ball, I'll be able to see when there's fuel in her. So that looks like it's seated good and that looks like it's seated good. So we'll just snug this up. Not too tight, just a little snug ruski. So there you go. So now next what we're gonna do because this thing's full of gas and God only knows why I have so much gas in the thing right now. But as I can see right now, I ordered the wrong ones because this has three hoses and I'm pretty sure that these have two. So I think I cocked that right over. Sure did. So that's easy to fix. We'll just drill a third hole. Let's make it easy. Instead of returning them, get new ones. We'll just drill a third hole in her and we should be good to go. Yep, we got enough room there, I think. Let's get a drill out and slam a hole through it. Now the worst thing that would happen when you're doing this is you wreck it. So we'll take this little piece here, we'll look for a nice clear spot, and we'll just start her off in a nice, slow, easy, gentle way, and walk her through. There, oh, careful, there she is. That wasn't too bad at all. Careful. That there's a tight hole, I'll tell you that right now. So now what we need to do is get this one out, like so. And we'll pull all this out. There's a filter and the pickup and this and that and the other friggin' thing. You know what? These aren't gonna work on this thing. What the hell was I thinking? Oh, for God's sake. So we'll have to come back to this later on in the, the whole situation here because that's not the right one. I just cocked that right over. Unbelievable. So we want it to go that way. Can we get it through? Sure can. So we'll stick this back through for now. No, we want it to go the other way. We'll be all right, don't worry, we'll get her. There it is. And then we want the clear one, the return line, to go the other way. So let's get this back in the hole first of all. 
Hey, easy on my weed whacker over there. Can't you see I'm trying to work the door? So this got to go this way. This thing's got to go back into this thing. This one's got to go over here, into here. Ah, dick. This one's got to go down through here, into here, and there you go. So like I said, I'll get the right ones ordered for that, and we'll change that at a later date. Just got to remember, whenever you tip, she leaks a little fuel. Not good. Hey, at least we uh, can figure that out. You should really blow that out too. That doesn't look too nice in there. Slap a little new filter in it. Nice. Slap that back on. This thing should start up. No problem. Let's just make sure the ball primes. Oh, look at that. She's pulling gas in like 90 there, boys. Oh, yeah. So now if you choke it, hit it, pull it, should start. Hold on, we'll get her. Might have got some fuel in the freaking gas or something here. Should we turn it on? Something ain't working. Not too sure why. We got a leak. Hear that? That's no good. That would definitely cause an issue. So the lip's not friggin' lippy enough. So I need a come kind of ding dong on there. So when you're getting replacement parts for your echo machines, make sure you go to the dealer to get the proper parts. We well, all end up like me. Monkey fing brand new parts onto it. I'm good at that. Sure you pay a little bit more, but hey, at least you don't have to do what I'm doing right now. So I myself have got a trusty thing of O-rings here, and I'm hoping by slapping an O-ring on this, it's gonna create a seal. So we'll put that around there like that. We'll put her back on like that, and then we'll slap this back on. And that could, should create us a, a little bit of a vac seal. Remember, there's always a way, even though there might not be sometimes. You understand what I'm saying? Hope so, because I don't. Have that thing all cocked over and backwards again. Why wouldn't I? So we'll tighten this back down on the new O-ring, and we'll try her again. Okay, I think something might be happening this time for sure. Holy shit, balls. We will get this running. Maybe. Oh, do we have a spark? Could have got something wet too. The couple of spark plug sockets you have might never work. Why would they give you a spark plug socket the right size? It's gotta be the right size. Nope. <laughs> Woo. We might have got our little lubed up here. Let's watch your spark. Are you watching? She might have been a little flooded out there from the water too. We'll stick this back in. Give her a little snug job. Trim it, choke it, hit it. She was flooded, Captain. She's tuned. Like I said, we just gotta change that. Cause see how the gas is coming out of there already? We definitely got to get, to get some of them coming in. We do real quick. But I do have some silicone and maybe I might just slap a little bit around there for now, just so she don't piss pour right out of there. And as you can see, she's piss pouring right out of there. In the meantime, I don't know if you guys have one of these or not, but we gotta take this apart and grease it. Cause I haven't greased it in God knows how friggin' long. So, so let's see if we can't get that out and we'll give it a grease job. So what we're gonna need for that is a screwdriver. We'll loosen that off. We'll take it right out because I'm not sure if it has to come right out or not. And then we should be able to, ooh, it's going down. Actually, that feels like it comes out the bottom. Maybe we gotta pull the whole shaft off, do we? Ah, oh, dick. Now, if you have one of these weed whackers, it's suggested you do this once every 10 or 15 years, if you can. And just pull that out, there it is right there. So there's a the shaft. So what we need to do with that thing is we need to lube it. Now. I'm going to use the real cheap stuff that I got from GM that's supposed to take your, your clunk away from your that little snappy cracky. This stuff here is about $45 for that little thing. So that's what I'm going to use on this shop because, hey, if it's good enough for the Chevy Silverado, it's good enough for the old weed whacker. I should just put my glove on when you're doing this and we'll lube it up real good like that. There we go. And then we'll take, uh, take the stick and put her back in the hole, as they say. So we'll stick her in. Run her down, put the screw back in her, get her lined up. That is a lineup screw, just so you know. 
and then we'll tighten this up and Bob's your friggin' uncle. This should have about 16 more friggin' horsepower now. There we go. So that's the bottom shaft done. I will get out my attachments for this and do that on another video if you wanna see it. Leave a comment down below and let me know. We should be able to pull this one out now, like this, and we'll loosen these on this side and we'll leak gas all over the place because like I said, that thing's all cocked over. Slide this off and there's the shaft. So we'll pull it out. Oh, she was getting dry too, so that's a good thing. I'll slide her back in. We'll put some more out here. Decent, see that? That's how you do her. All right, that's how you do her. God, I can't get my gloves off now. Frig, what's really going on? Oh, come on. There she goes. All right, so there we go. We'll slide this back in. Like so. Careful. The screw back in the side. Flip her over. We'll tighten this back up. And then we'll slide this back in. There it is. Tighten that up. And she should be good to go. Let's fire up one more time. Ooh. So there you go. There's a tune-up of the weed whacker. I'll come back to you when I get the right gasket for the gas tank and we'll slap it in. But I have an echo blower that I gotta do the same thing to. So I'm gonna go get it right now. I'm gonna go over it the same way. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you did. I'm glad you're all here. I really care that you're here and I appreciate it. And I noticed I went up a few subscribers over the last couple weeks and I really appreciate that and thanks for being here. Welcome to the channel. But anyways, we're gonna get heading out here and get the other leaf blower out and give it a little tune job like this one. And like I said, I'll come back when I do get that seal and we'll put her back in together if you want. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know if you wanna see that. But love y'all and until next time, you know what to do for now.